Now for A, to check this, assuming that you got all your points in the right spot, uh, your trapezoid should look like this. If you didn't, please go back and look through uh, and make sure you get those points in the right spots and make sure you know how to do that. If you're here, we'll translate it 5 right uh, and down 7. So I'm just going to make sure my dots that I'm looking for are nice and clear and then I'll just go A, B, C, D. Everything here needs to go right 5 down 7. Okay, so I'll start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, that was A. Now, I'm not even going to move B. I'm not even going to count over for B because I can see that that is 1, 2, 3 below A. So I know that I did A right, so I'm just going to go 3 below A and put B right here. Now, these might be a little bit different. Um, just because I, you know, I just can't tell real quick. I'd actually have to count it out to see what that would be. So I'll just actually do right five down seven. So let's go with D. Right five. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five down seven. Let me make sure I counted that right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. There's D. And now we just have to get C on there. Right five, one, two, three, four, five, down seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we see. Now all we have to do is connect our shape. As you can tell, we've still got the same shape. So we did a successful trans, uh, translation there. Okay, Make sure you have that word down pat, what a translation is. It's just moving. Sometimes it's called a slide. We're just sliding it over this way, whatever it says here. Uh, but this is what your second shape after you make your translation should look like. For B, we've got our parallelogram here. We've got two pairs of parallel sides. These two would never touch. These two would never touch. Parallelogram. If it's not in this location on the graph, Make sure you go back and look at your points. Make sure they get in the right spot and make sure you understand how that works. For our translation here, okay, that's the word we're talking about, right? Translation, same thing as just sliding it in one direction. We're not changing the shape at all. We're just putting it in a different spot. So we need to go left, none. So we're not going to move it side to side at all. We're just going to move it up three. So I'm going to take all my points here. Draw them out so they're nice and big so you can see them. Uh, A, B, C, D. And by the way, make sure you understand that you know we've got quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. That's a good review to make sure you know which quadrant is which. Okay, let's go up three on all these here. So we'll start with B. Up three. One, two, three. Boom. A. Up three. One, two, three. A. Uh, C, F3, 1, 2, 3. A and B, 1, 2, 3. Draw out our parallelogram. As you can see, we've got the same shape. As long as you do the same thing or the same translation to every one of the points for this shape, it is going to be the same shape. All we did was we slid it up 3, which is also a translation. All right, last one to talk about here would be uh, letter C on there. And before we start, a few things I just want to point out real quick about the graph that you should know. Uh, this axis is the x-axis. This axis is the y-axis. Horizontal or side to side is x. Up and down vertical is the y. And we've got our quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4. One starting in the upper right and then going counterclockwise around. Uh, another thing to point out before we even do the problem is if you get your points to put on the graph like you already did to get this scaling triangle, remember the first point is the X point, the second point is the Y point. Okay, so make sure you keep that in mind. Now, if you don't have a scaling triangle that looks like this, make sure you go back to the actual directions, back to the actual coordinates, and make sure you get it in the right spot. 
If you're here, you're in good shape. Now we're going to go left 12. We're going to translate it, which is just the slide, left 12 down 2. So for each one of these points, I've got A, B, C. Okay, I'm going to slide it 12 to the left and down 2. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and down 2. Same thing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, down 2. And then the same thing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and down 2. Now I've got all my points. Connect them up. I've got the same shape. And by the way, scalene triangle just means that all three sides are different lengths. If I measured this side, this side, and this side, they would all be different lengths, and that's what a scalene triangle is. Okay? So this should have been your original shape for this one. After you did the translation or after you did the slide, it should have slid over 12 or left 12 and down 2 to get right there.